let's set the record straight. The records of Bernie Sanders and Joe Biden on Social Security couldn't be more different. Bernie Sanders has a 30-year record of fighting not just to prevent Social Security from being cut, but to expand benefits for the senior citizens, veterans, and people with disabilities who depend on it. Joe Biden has a very different record. In fact, he has a 40-year history of working with Republicans to try to cut Social Security. The Associated Press published a story on Bernie Sanders and Joe Biden this week that may have shocked you. The story pretends that Bernie and Biden have the same record on Social Security, when in fact the exact opposite is true. First, the AP story said Bernie had made the explosive charge that Biden was an outspoken proponent of slashing the program. Let's be clear, that's not a charge or a claim. It's literally a fact. The story quotes Bernie saying in 1996 that we need to make, quote, adjustments to Social Security. And then the story insists that means Bernie has the same record as Biden. There's just one problem here. Unlike Biden, when Bernie talked about adjustments, he made it crystal clear he was talking about increasing benefits. I'm not gonna let my friends get ripped off and hurt. There is a war being waged against the needs of senior citizens. Why is anybody in their right minds going after senior citizens? During Bernie's first run for Congress 30 years ago, Bernie said, quote, I am very much opposed to any freeze or cut in the cost of living adjustments for Social Security recipients. Within weeks of being sworn in to his first term in Congress in 1991, Bernie co-sponsored legislation to block Social Security cuts and to increase Social Security benefits. In 1993, Bernie said, some people claim that entitlement reform is the answer to our government's fiscal problems. They argue that we must cut back on entitlement programs like Medicare, Medicaid, and Social Security to help balance the budget. I disagree. During his 1994 re-election campaign, Bernie had a radio ad on Social Security. Here's what he said. It is imperative that we address the deficit problem that this nation faces, but we can do it without cutting Social Security. In January 1995, Bernie gave a speech opposing the balanced budget amendment. He said, The balanced budget amendment will be a disaster for working people, for elderly people, for low-income people. It will mean, in my view, the destruction of the Social Security system as we know it, Five days later, Joe Biden went to the floor of the Senate and gave a speech on the same amendment, and he said this. When I argued that we should freeze federal spending, I meant Social Security as well. I meant Medicare and Medicaid. I meant veterans spending. I meant every single solitary thing in the government. And I not only tried it once, I tried it twice, I tried it a third time, and I tried it a fourth time. And social security advocates, including the AARP, were furious. They said that the bill Biden voted for was, quote, nothing more than a raid on social security's trust funds. Now, I know what you might be thinking. That was over 20 years ago. Ancient history, right? Guess again. In 2010, I was with Bernie on the floor of the Senate for eight and a half hours during his speech in opposition to a deal Biden cut with McConnell to extend all of the Bush tax breaks for the rich while diverting $120 billion from the Social Security Trust Fund. One year later, while Biden formed a committee dubbed the Biden Committee to try to cut Social Security, Bernie formed the Defending Social Security Caucus to prevent Social Security from being cut. It will be over our dead bodies if you cut Social Security for seniors and the disabled. In 2015, Bernie introduced a bill to expand Social Security benefits with no co-sponsors. The establishment thought that bill was too radical. But just three years later, in 2018, Bernie formed the Expanding Social Security Caucus with over 150 members of Congress. Why is this issue so important? In America today, half of older workers have no retirement savings. 
20% of seniors are trying to survive on less than $13,500 a year. When Bernie Sanders becomes president, you can trust that he will do everything he can to expand, not cut Social Security, because he always has.